most of his short time aboard. Whether receiving a brief from Chief Engineer Commander Rick Booth in DC Central, or fielding questions from Kitty Hawk First Classes in the forward bomb handling area, Vice Admiral Clemens was eager to see the entire ship. His first stop, the Kitty Hawk flight deck. His time on the deck set the tone for his entire visit, as he spoke to enlisted personnel and officers alike, asking questions concerning the crews and life in general aboard the Kitty Hawk. Well, you know, everywhere I go and I talk to sailors, I'm always impressed with their intelligence and how they never complain about the long hours and how they're always working and they always have the humor. But behind that is just pure professionalism, and that's the same thing I saw on the Kitty Hawk deck today. The role the Kitty Hawk currently plays as a deterrent to North Korea may be one of the most vital missions of any Navy ship at this time. Vice Admiral Clements assured all he spoke to of the importance of our presence in the South China Sea. I think it's going to be nine months before that's decided. And uh, in the meantime, uh, the mission over here is to put pressure on that situation and not to show a sign of weakness and blink. And uh, I think that we're doing that very well, and Kitty Hawk is at the forefront of that effort. When we fell under the jurisdiction of Vice Admiral Clemens in early July, management of the ship's schedule became the responsibility of Con 7th Fleet. Obviously a matter of importance to the Kitty Hawk crew, the Admiral addressed that topic and was confident that no significant changes are in store. I think your schedule is steadied out. What you see is what you're going to get. Uh, you're going to be operating around Korea, and in operating around Korea, you're going to be doing things that are vitally important to deterrence on the, on the uh, Korean Peninsula and you're also going to get some quality port visits of Pusan and Hong Kong here. And on the subject of Hong Kong, Kitty Hawk sailors set a precedent that following battle groups will be hard-pressed to live up to. Zero liberty incidents. Vice Admiral Clemens was impressed and said notice was taken by others as well. As you know, the defense attaché sent a message to you commending you for that, and I turned that around to Sink Pack Fleet to say this are the standards that are trying to be maintained out here. But, uh, very impressive crew all the way around, and that's just another kudo in their hat. Following Vice Admiral Clemens, Kitty Hawk crew members readied the carrier for a visit of international proportions as South Korean President Kim Yong san called on the Hawk crew just prior to a four-day port visit in Pusan. At the time, Kitty Hawk was operating just off the South Korean peninsula, acting as a strong projection of forward from the sea power in the face of increasing hostility from the north. President Kim, accompanied by the U.S. ambassador to South Korea, arrived amongst honors provided by Kitty Hawk skipper Captain William Pickavance and a rainbow team of side boys. While only scheduled to stay aboard 90 minutes, the president witnessed several examples of forward deployed sea power projected by CV-63 and her battle group. The first stop for President Kim and his staff was the Kitty Hawk Combat Direction right Center, here, where he was given a brief by CDC officer Commander Lee Lilly. From there, the flight deck for an F-14, an F-818, and a D-6. President Kim also took advantage of the opportunity to meet with several Kitty Hawk sailors of Korean descent one of whom found it hard to believe he was able to meet the leader of the country in which he was born. I couldn't believe I actually was make, you know, meeting a president. You know, I never even thought about it, but, you know, the thought just, it overwhelms me a lot. Following introductions to TAC and other standout Kitty Hawk sailors, President Kim addressed the entire crew in the hangar bay, where he was presented with several gifts, including a Kitty Hawk flight jacket. In his speech to Kitty Hawk sailors and officers, President Kim expressed deep gratitude for the role the Hawk Battle Group is playing off the Korean Peninsula. USS Kitty Hawk and its retinue are contributing greatly, not only for the recent security, but also for maintaining human dignity, peace, and freedom in the human world. Therefore, I can assure you, that all of your efforts, all of your training, and all of your difficulties will be duly rewarded by the entire international community. President Kim expressed confidence in the combined forces and cooperation of the United States and the Republic of Korea. He spoke of the commitment he and President Clinton have made to peace in his region. 